What are you trying to do? Joe Elledge implored, his voice strained with the weight of uncertainty. Are you... seriously? Are you trying to, like, get the baby away? Are you trying to make me go crazy so that you can call the police on me and take my expletive baby away from me? Mankey G said. You think you're so empowered because of this society? Joe Elledge taunted the acrid taste of contempt lacing his words like poison. Well, don't forget that nature exists. You're still just a woman. What do you think when you hear these words? Yes, Joe is Menke's husband, and only cruel men say that to their wives. At this point, many people would probably advise Menke to consider divorcing this malicious man. I'm sure she thought about it too, but she didn't. The once idyllic images of love and devotion were now tainted by the spectre of betrayal, a betrayal that would forever alter the lives of those entangled in its grasp. For behind the loving pictures and gentle gestures lay a harrowing tale of obsession and deceit, a tale that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of criminal history. In the chilly embrace of December 2014, Menke G embarked on a journey that would redefine her life's trajectory. Leaving behind the familiarity of her homeland, China, she set her sights on the distant horizon of the United States, a land brimming with opportunities and dreams. Menke's aspirations were not just any, they were the lofty goals of mastering the intricate realms of mechanical and aerospace engineering at the prestigious University of Missouri. With a heart full of determination and eyes set firmly on success, she began her academic adventure, unaware of the twists and turns her life was about to take. The tapestry of Mankey's life started to weave a new pattern on September 8, 2017, when fate intervened in the most unexpected of ways. It was during her tenure at Nanova, a hub of innovation and engineering brilliance, that she crossed paths with Joe Elledge. Joe, a fellow engineering enthusiast, shared her passion for the marvels of engineering. What started as a professional camaraderie soon blossomed into something more profound, their shared interests and dreams drew them closer, and the seeds of romance were sown, culminating in their first date in January 2016. The bond they formed was unique, a fusion of intellect and emotion, leading them down a path neither had anticipated. The narrative of their love story reached a crescendo in September 2017, amidst the natural splendor of Rockbridge Memorial State Park. In a moment that seemed to capture the essence of their journey together, Joe proposed to Menke. It was a day etched in the panorama of their memories, a day when promises of a shared future were made under the vast expanse of the Missouri sky. This pledge of love and commitment was solidified just two weeks later on September 22, 2017. Menke and Joe stood before their loved ones, exchanging vows in a heartfelt ceremony that promised a lifetime of togetherness and happiness. It was a beautiful beginning to what was supposed to be a lifelong journey. However, the fabric of their marital bliss was not as sturdy as it appeared. Beneath the surface of their idyllic life, a storm was brewing. 
Discontent and discord began to erode the foundation of their relationship, creating fissures in what seemed like a perfect union. The unfolding drama took a tragic turn when Menke suddenly vanished, her disappearance casting a long shadow over their once peaceful existence. The landscape of their shared dreams and aspirations was now marred by the haunting spectre of uncertainty and despair. The mystery of Menke's disappearance unveiled a dark labyrinth of lies and deceit, pulling investigators into a vortex of questions with no easy answers. What had happened to Menke G? The search for truth plunged everyone involved into a realm of darkness and ambiguity, echoing the chilling uncertainties that lie at the heart of the American heartland. Menke's story, a tale of dreams, love and loss, remains a poignant reminder of the unpredictability of life and the shadows that lurk beneath the surface of seemingly blissful narratives. The news of Menke's pregnancy initially filled their home with a bright spark of joy, a beacon of new beginnings. However, this light soon dimmed as it became the catalyst for escalating arguments between her and Joe. The arrival of Menke's parents from China, intended as a gesture of support, inadvertently fanned the flames of discord adding layers of complexity to the couple's relationship. As the domestic turmoil intensified, Menke's parents bore witness to the disintegration of their daughter's once bright future. The dreams they had harbored for her were now overshadowed by a growing chasm of conflict and misunderstanding. The investigation into Menke's disappearance delved into the intricate dynamics of the family, revealing the significant, albeit unintended, impact of her parents' presence. Amidst a web of suspicion and uncertainty, one grim reality stood out. Menke's path had veered into a sinister territory of deceit and betrayal. On a haunting October night in 2019, Menke G seemingly evaporated into thin air, leaving behind a cold silence in what used to be a home filled with aspirations. Joe Elledge, her husband, recounted the perplexing events leading up to that night, painting a picture of a relationship tangled in misunderstandings. His last interaction with Menke, a rejected offer of a massage citing her plans for the next day, marked the final moment he would see her. The tranquility of their life was shattered, leaving only questions in its wake. In a determined quest for answers, Menke's mother initiated a personal investigation, driven by the unsettling quiet that had replaced her daughter's vibrant presence. The discovery that Menke was missing sent ripples of fear and uncertainty through their community. A peculiar detail emerged, casting a shadow over the investigation. Joe's choice to contact the non-emergency police line instead of utilizing emergency channels to report Menke's absence. This decision, coupled with the palpable tension captured on police body cameras upon their arrival, added a sinister layer to the unfolding mystery. In the public eye, Joe Elledge made a heartfelt appeal for Menke's return during an interview with CBS affiliate KRCG. His plea, filled with expressions of love and a yearning for her safe return, was clouded by the swirling doubts and suspicions about their relationship's undercurrents. Yet, as scrutiny intensified, Joe's narrative showed signs of strain under the investigative spotlight. His interview with the Columbia Police Department revealed evasive answers and peculiar behaviors, such as aimless drives at a time of crisis. These revelations deepened the mystery, 
suggesting a truth hidden in the shadows, waiting to be uncovered in the search for Menki Ji. In the midst of the intensifying investigation into Menki Ji's disappearance, a chilling revelation emerged from the depths of Joe Elledge's cell phone records. Hidden within were secret recordings that peeled back the layers of their seemingly tumultuous relationship, exposing a narrative fraught with conflict and emotional turmoil. These recordings, akin to opening a window into their private world, unveiled the stark reality of their interactions. A particularly harrowing conversation captured Menke's voice, laden with accusation and fear, confronting Joe in a moment teeming with tension. What are you trying to do? she demanded, her voice echoing with the strain of desperation. Are you seriously trying to drive me to madness, to call the authorities on me and strip me of my child? Her words painted a vivid picture of a woman grappling with the threat of losing everything she held dear. Further disturbing revelations came to light from Menke's phone, where recordings revealed a deeply unsettling pattern of misogyny and manipulation by Joe. His words, dripping with disdain, revealed a toxic undercurrent within their marriage. One particular exchange showcased his derogatory views as he belittled Monkey's sense of empowerment and autonomy. You think you're so empowered because of this society, he sneered, his voice seething with contempt. But remember, nature's law prevails. You are merely a woman, he declared, reducing her identity to a mere function of her gender, stripping away her dignity and self-worth. As the investigation gained momentum, the Columbia Police Department announced a criminal inquiry into Joe Elledge on October 25, 2019. The shadow of suspicion loomed large over him, though his arrest was initially for alleged cruelty towards his daughter, rather than directly related to Menke's vanishing. This development added a complex layer to the already convoluted case, intertwining issues of domestic strife with the overarching mystery of Menke's fate. The search for answers led investigators to the murky waters of the Lamin River, a place that held the potential to unveil the grim secrets of this case. Yet, the river, with its opaque depths, remained silent, offering no clues or closure. The enigmatic waters mirrored the elusive truth of Menke Ji's disappearance, leaving a haunting void where answers should have been, and deepening the mystery that shrouded her fate in shadows. During the tumultuous legal battles that followed Menke Ji's disappearance, a delicate accord was reached concerning the future of her and Joe Elledge's young daughter. This carefully negotiated custody agreement allowed the child to spend summers with Menke's parents in China, while the remainder of the year would be spent under the care of Joe's mother in the United States. This arrangement, though fraught with uncertainty, offered a semblance of stability in the wake of turmoil. In the quest for justice, Boone County Prosecutor Dan Knight, fortified with compelling evidence extracted from Menke's phone, embarked on a resolute mission to hold Joe Elledge accountable. Knight's determination culminated in the charge of first-degree murder against Joe, a move that underscored the gravity of the betrayal and the weight of the evidence against him. Seventeen months of mystery and sorrow culminated in a heart-wrenching discovery when skeletal remains were found in Rockbridge Memorial State Park. 
This grim find shattered the lingering hopes of those who yearned for Menke's safe return, marking a tragic end to her journey. A poignant detail emerged from the investigation at the discovery site, a fractured rib among Menke's remains, serving as a mute witness to the brutality that ended her life. This grim evidence underscored the violent circumstances of her demise. In an innovative twist to the investigation, plant DNA analysis became a cornerstone in unraveling the mystery of Menke's last moments. Under the guidance of Christine Edwards and her team, this scientific approach peeled back the layers of the natural world, revealing insights into the location where Menke met her tragic end. The subtle yet revealing language of plant DNA provided a novel path to uncovering the truth, acting as a silent guardian of the facts in the case. Despite attempts by the defense to weave a narrative of confusion, prosecutor Dan Knight leaned heavily on the incontrovertible evidence found in the secret recordings from Menke's phone. These recordings painted a vivid picture of a marriage dominated by control and manipulation, effectively dismantling Joe Elledge's assertions of innocence. The stark reality of these recordings offered a glimpse into the dark undercurrents of their relationship, bolstering the prosecution's case and shining a light on the truth behind Meng Shi Ji's tragic fate. Jessica, today we got our hands on court documents laying out Joseph Elledge's reasons for appealing his 28-year sentence in prison. Elledge was found guilty in the death of his wife last November. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from the Boone County Courthouse for us today after looking through those court documents. And Layla, Elledge wants the conviction thrown out. Within the solemn confines of the courtroom, the air was thick with anticipation as Joe Elledge found himself under the intense gaze of prosecutor Dan Knight. Over the span of two exhaustive days, Elledge was subjected to a barrage of questions, his every word scrutinized in the relentless pursuit of truth behind Monkey G's mysterious disappearance. Despite Knight's incisive interrogation, Elledge stood unwavering, steadfastly denying any role in the tragic fate that befell Monkey. The courtroom hung on every exchange, the tension palpable as spectators and jurors alike yearned for a breakthrough in the tangled narrative that had captivated and confounded so many. As the inquiry delved deeper, unveiling the layers of complexity surrounding Menke's untimely death, the courtroom became a crucible of suspense. Each question posed by Knight was a needle threading through the fabric of the case, pulling tighter the threads of evidence and accusation. The audience, collectively holding its breath, awaited Elledge's responses, hoping for a revelation that would cut through the dense fog of mystery enveloping the proceedings. The culmination of the trial brought a dramatic clash of legal titans as Scott Rosenblum, Elledge's defense attorney, and prosecutor Dan Knight delivered their closing arguments. This final act in Menke's heart-wrenching saga was charged with emotion, each word carefully chosen to sway the jury. As deliberations commenced, the weight of the decision lay heavy on the jurors' shoulders their verdict destined to echo through the annals of history. In a decisive moment that marked a victory for justice, Joe Elledge was convicted of second-degree murder. The verdict, carrying a sentence of 28 years behind bars, was more than a legal ruling. It was a profound acknowledgement of Menke's existence, a life so cruelly taken, and the agonizing ordeal she endured. 
This outcome stood as a solemn tribute to the tireless quest for truth and the relentless pursuit of accountability, shining a light on the shadows cast by deceit and malice. The untimely death of Prosecutor Dan Knight introduced a poignant twist to Menke's quest for justice, casting a shadow of grief over those who had stood by her side throughout this arduous journey. Knight's passing was a stark reminder of the fragility of life, leaving a void in the hearts of those committed to carrying forward Menke's legacy. Yet, in the wake of this loss, the resolve to honor her memory only intensified, fueled by a collective desire to see justice prevail. As Menke's life was commemorated, her essence was celebrated as a symbol of kindness, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Her impact, though cut short, reverberated deeply, reminding all of the indelible mark one individual can leave on the world. Menke's spirit, characterized by her compassion and intellectual curiosity, continued to inspire, serving as a beacon of hope and resilience. In the aftermath of tragedy, the community drew closer, their resolve hardened by the trials they had endured. United in their grief and their commitment to justice, they pledged to keep the memory of Menke G alive, her legacy a guiding light in their continued struggle for justice. Through the darkness of loss and the challenges yet to come, Menke's spirit endures, a testament to the profound impact of love, determination, and the human capacity to overcome adversity.